And we're back, week 15, I think, yeah, week 15 in your Van Cleave. It is going to be experiment 91, cycle three, CC. All right, just wanna get all that in there. Okay, so what are we doing today? We are going to do a science experiment, and the purpose of that experiment is to float an egg in magic solution. The kids will like this one, this is really good. Okay, so what will you need? You are going to need two clear plastic cups. I'm using glass cups, I'll explain why in a minute. You are gonna need two eggs. I did a white one and a brown one, small eggs. Um, a tablespoon, you're gonna need a, I have a half a teaspoon. You're gonna need good old fashioned bad for you table salt. And the experiment calls for milk. Now, I've already done this experiment once and I do not like the milk, so I'm not gonna use the milk, I'll explain why. Um, okay, so this is how it goes. You're supposed to get your cup and you're supposed to put three fourths a cup of water into your clear plastic cup. Now, three fourths a cup of water is only six ounces of water. I actually have this measured because it's one of those spaghetti jars. Six ounces is right here. So from here to here, that's not very much. It'd be kind of hard to see if an egg was floating or if it was sinking with that much water. So what I decided to do is, hey, we're gonna double the recipe. And so instead of three fourths a cup, we did a cup and a half or 12 ounces, which that worked out for my spaghetti jars. This looks like more than 12 ounces because um, it's not, it's 12 ounces of water. But because we doubled the water, we also have to double the salt content, contents. And um, it calls for three tablespoons of salt. We did six tablespoons of salt and that made the water higher. Now, I've already dissolved the salt into the water because have you ever done like the non-sweet tea and you try to put sweet tea in and it just takes forever to dissolve? I figured you would not want that. Um, on the video just taking forever. So it's already dissolved in the water and this this is the reason that's the reason why this water is a little cloudy Because it's full of salt. It's very 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 full of salt now It calls for one fourth a teaspoon of milk in our case It would be half a teaspoon of milk because we doubled the recipe the milk Has nothing to do with the experiment other than to make the water cloudy now when I did this experiment And it made the water cloudy It made it very hard to see the egg even the brown egg so I decided hey we're gonna leave out the milk because I wanna be able to see what's happening. So now we have 12 ounces of just clear water. We have our clear water, we have our magic solution. Now, I am going to put our eggs in. I'm going to put the white egg in the clear water. Let's see what happens. It's just water, nothing fun. Aha, can you see? The egg is at the bottom of the glass jar. You can clearly see it because there's no milk in the way. Now, I'm going to take my brown egg. This is my magic water, my salty magic water, and I'm going to put it in the solution. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, exciting. The egg floats. Why does the egg float? Well, let me tell you why the egg floats. The egg floats because the salt water has now become more dense than the egg. So the density that's in the water is able to lift that egg up. Let me just read it from the book to make sure. The egg floats because it is not as dense as the salty water. The dense salt water is able to hold the egg up. The egg in the, the, egg in the clear water or the milky water um, is denser than the water, therefore it sinks. Um, yeah, this was a really fun one. I think the kids will like it. I hope you enjoyed it.